episode 63 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. Now things are going pretty well for Marcelo Bielsa in this reality, aren't they? We had a great episode last time, 4-1 win against Newcastle after a 5-0 spanking of Wolves. Seemed unlikely, but we've somehow put together a run of games. Unfortunately today, we are going to hit up against what is often the brick wall of the chairman asking us to get five wins in a row. It very rarely happens, and I imagine this is going to be a very, very difficult game. But look at that. All the news is about new signing the young Dutchman, Frankie de Jong. He had a great debut. He scored a goal, sort of, just about. And uh, yeah, looked good, looked comfortable on the ball, and that's what we wanted from our central midfielder. So excited to play with him again. I think we can just crack on and get straight into this one and have a look at how the side is going to line up today. Oh, Gomez on a downward arrow. Well, I think we're going to be forced to bring in Martinez. We could always bring in Lukasen. That is an option that we have. Yeah, let's try that, actually. We'll play De Jong at defensive mid. He can play there. It's not ideal. Um, and then we can bring in the horse. We can start the horse. Uh, we'll go back to this formation. Uh, yep, that's fine. Uh, I think we do play Maxi as a second. I think... Oh, look, that's not right. That shouldn't be centre-back there, should it? That needs changing. Um, I think we'll go with that. Central midfield went in possession. Defensive midfield went out. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll give that a go. Slight tweak today with Gomez on a poor arrow form. But it could work. Or we could get overrun in midfield because De Jong's a little bit lightweight. We'll, we'll find out. He's going up against Shinji Kagawa. What a great player he was. Probably still is. I haven't seen him play in a long time. And obviously Mason Mount, the grudge match again. Brunetta versus Mason Mount in the midfield. The usurped and the usurper back against each other. Arnautovic always a danger up top. They've got a 66 rated right back. That is certainly one for old Justin Kluivert to take a run at. He's been in great form recently. Sparkling form. He could do with a dramatic improvement, couldn't he? Surely a possibility still at 22 years old. He's just so quick. Scored a great goal in the last episode. Other than that, I think we're good to go. Let's get into it. So obviously if you saw the news at the weekend, you will have seen the most ridiculous, one of the craziest sequences in a football match I've ever seen uh, Leeds versus Aston Villa obviously it started off with what wasn't really a, it wasn't even a foul wasn't certainly wasn't a head injury just around the center circle Leeds started to play on Villa stopped and then a ball was slipped through and it was Matty who scored the goal in the end and then all hell broke loose really really incredible scenes um, but I think Marcelo Bielsa in the end did the right thing whether or not I think the referee should be the only one who's allowed to stop play and the players shouldn't be allowed but Play was stopping. The Aston Villas believed that, so he had to give them the goal. I think he did the right thing. It shows what an honourable and just great guy he is. Big fan of that. Right, anyway, let's get into this. Oh, Kagawa threads a lovely ball through. Butland off his line. Oh, no, Mason. No, don't you do this to us. No! Oh, my God. Well, Butland was in no man's land. I think I must have inadvertently kept pressing triangle after he came out because he didn't want to go back. Yep, I must have. That was a mistake from me. But luckily, Arnautovic with a huge brain fart, probably caused by pulling his hair so tightly and affecting his brain in that way. Oh, well, that was a huge, huge let off there. And Mason Mount had an open net to aim for, didn't take it. It's the pressure of Vince playing against your old side. Oh, Brunetta spins away. Back into Juan Brunetta, gets it out of his feet. Good hit, good goal, yes. There we are, the Argentinian connection. We've spoken a lot about the Dutch bros in this side. The Dutch revolution has certainly come to Yorkshire. But today, well, it was the Argentines who we've depended on so much throughout this series. Brunetta and Romero, the dynamic duo. And it was just simple one-two play, edge of the box. Brunetta, though, finding a nice position here. Just stepping away from... Ob oh, no, that wasn't Obbonner, wasn't it? But that's a nice one, too. It all open opened up for him in the box, and it's a good finish to end off the move. Great start here. Oh, it's opened up a little bit here for West Ham, and the ball's through to Arnautovic. Buttons off his line. That's good goalkeeping there. Really, really brave. Great goalkeeping. Kobos, that is an incredible ball to find Kleiber. Goes early into the horse. He'll flick it back to Maxi Romero. He's got time to put it onto his right foot and finish very comfortably. And that's 2-0 here. Wow. That was a great counter-attack. Very, very simple. And Marcelo Bielsa's got his tactics and team selection spot on from the evidence of this first half. Red course, simple ball back. And loads of time for Maxi Romero. If you allow him to get it onto his right foot, you're in trouble. Brunetta dropping really deep here, but I like that. And that's a good ball into Mendes. Smart stuff here. Weghorst back into Mendes. Thiago Mendes to make it three. Well, 
probably looking for the cut cross there. But more great flowing football. Love Brunetta dropping into that space, allowing Mendes to take up his position. And then Weghorst into Mendes. Maybe could have squared it again for Weghorst. He would have had a tap in. It's unlucky. It could have been three there. And there we are, half time here at Ellen Road. And it's been very, very comfortable. Great, great play again. I just thought it's, it's very hard to fault us at the moment. We seem to be really kicking into another gear that it didn't look like we had at the beginning of the season. Yes, I think the personnel changes have been massive. Lukasun has looked incredibly assured today at centre-back. He is he, well, he's, he's a better centre-back than Joe Gomez, so we are definitely spoiled for choice when it comes to centre-backs. Uh, De Jong's not had a huge amount to do in defensive midfield, which I think has been the reason he hasn't potentially looked a bit out of depth, which I think he might against the top side. And then obviously Butland, well, he's had a couple of important things to do and he's done them fairly well. Almost caught out, but Mason Mount just didn't have the balls to finish it off. Oh, well. Right, second half. Let's do this. Oh, it's a good ball through to Mason Mount. He's going to beat Lucasen to this one. Lucasen comes across, does enough, but Mason Mount shot. Wow. Bottle job. Look in the dictionary. You're going to see a picture of Mason Mount's face. He's had two huge chances today for West Ham, and he's missed them both. And now we can bring it back up to the other end of the pitch. And Brunetta now into Romero to finish it here. Oh, <laughs> Mason Mount. The misery just piles on for the young Englishman. Not only could he not make it at Leeds United, not only did Brunetta best him in pretty much every way possible, but today against his old club, I mean, we've handed them opportunities. We've handed them massive opportunities. The open goal in the first half, he just didn't have the confidence. And then somehow hitting the post there. And then just to add insult to injury, we come right down the other end of the pitch, almost straight away. Wakehorse, Brunetta and Romero combining. A very good finish at the end from Maxi. Oh, and that's three, and that is good night, West Ham. Oh, God, that was that was sweet. I enjoyed that. Correa into Lucasen. He's back into defensive midfield now, and he's picked out a lovely ball into Joaquin Correa. His first touch is a good one, but the second one is very poor. Essentially, his first three touches, he's coming on as a substitute, did everything right, made a great run. West Ham players just refused to track him. And as has been the story of his season, he just doesn't have any end product. He's looked good in patches. But once again, they're showing why, well, he's a loan signing. We certainly wouldn't make him a permanent one. Clivert now. He's been pretty quiet today. He hasn't been involved too much, but he'll cut inside here. Looks for the run of Joaquin Correa. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> oh, he's all flash, but no finish. Would have been beautiful, though. Would have been beautiful. I thought if he's going to score one goal, it might as well be an absolutely world-class one. <laughs> it almost worked as well, if not for the studs of Adrian's boot. Would have been something quite special. Oh, Chicharito is played through. They've beaten the offside trap. What a horror end to this game is going to be. Not if Callum Patterson's got anything to do about it. Oh, we've got a chance here. Down the other end as Wakehorse has played through. Just chips it over Andrew Han. And that is four on the day for Leeds United. We've been excellent defensively and offensively. And well, we won it back with Patterson in the box. Just closing down. The man at the last second, Chicharito, couldn't get the shot off. Then we took it down the other end of the pitch. And Adrian has been beaten in every way possible today. And, well, he's been humiliated there. And there we have it. What a performance in front of the Leeds United fans here at Ellen Road. Maxi Romero looking at his deadly best. And Wakehorse capping it off with a goal. And Brunetta was great again. His resurgence and our streak of five wins in a row are certainly no coincidence. He's been excellent. And he's picked up goals and assists in his last few games, which he's really lacked. And we were dominant, really dominant display. And we've broken the five wins in a row, hoodoo, that we thought existed. I didn't know if it was possible. Turns out it is. Brunetta with the seven. Maxi Romero with an eight today. De Jong, a five at defensive midfield. It's not his position. I'm not too, I'm not too worried about that. Lookman not really involved, but that's fine. Everyone else had a great game. Butland gets a five, probably for some of the slightly crazy tactics he showed in the first half but ultimately a really good performance from the whole side so there we have it five wins in a row and we move up into seventh only nine points now behind liverpool <sighs> we're looking for that top half finish now i mean ninth is still easily possible we're only three points ahead of palace they've dropped down today as well um yeah we need to we need to get a gap between us and palace that's the most important thing Sixth place would be lovely, but considering the start to the season we had, uh, keeping our job is still the priority and would still constitute a pretty good season. Since we were really worth flirting with relegation for quite a while. Anyway, only three days later, take a trip down to London, to Fulham, to Craven Cottage. And let's see, it'd be really interesting to see how much of a percentage change that has. 
Um, I can't remember what we were on, but it was pretty low, up to 19. I think that was maybe 2, 2%. But yeah, five consecutive wins. Didn't know if it was possible. Turns out it is. Right, before we get into the next game, let's just see what the scouts got for us. Gomez. It's not the German Gomez, obviously. 25-year-old Uruguayan. Oh, good finisher. Great attacking prowess. Good in the air. Slow. Very slow. Strong. I mean, we don't need another way course. I mean, this guy is better. He's a... Oh, look at the finishing on him. Well, tempting at 25, actually. It would basically be a way course upgrade. But for the money that we paid for way course, which was nothing. You can't really argue with that. I don't even think he's worth replacing. Uh, Lindelof. We probably will be able to sign him by the end of the season if we wanted to. It would be an upgrade on Gomez, certainly. And Ginter. Yeah, he's excellent. We've looked at him before. Incredible passer. Could take Lukasen, put him back into uh, centre-back, and then bring in Ginter for defensive midfield duties. Um, does everything, really, that Lukasen can do. Not quite as physical, but what a passer he is. He would be the sort of Xavi Alonso-esque player that would be a real luxury for us, but plenty of time left to find new players. Let's concentrate today on making it six wins in a row. I feel like a banana skin is coming. And I feel like it could be Fulham-shaped, but... Just got to go in, play the game we've been playing. I think we're going to go back to this formation today. Lukasen back in defensive mid. Gomez back at centre-back. He's really not progressing as we'd like, is he? Really not progressing. He's 24 years old, but anyway. Everyone else can stay as is. Correa, hilarious in the last game. Tempted to start him over De Jong or downward, but we want to just get the, this team gelling. This is our first 11, definitely. Um, Fulham, similar sort of formation to us. Uh, decent back line, actually. Fossi Mensa's quality. Two fairly mobile centre-backs. Uh, Thorgan Hazard, probably their most dangerous attacking player. And a pretty strong midfield. I like him. And then they've got Sessegnon and Seri on the bench. Sessegnon only at 81 here. But he just get crazy good. He'd become a legend. He's mental. Anyway, let's do this. So going back to the crazy real-life Leeds United-Aston Villa game. The one most disappointing part about that. Um, I mean, to be honest, the goal matters very little. Automatic promotion is pretty much never going to happen at this point. So, you know probably best for Bielsa to keep his honour but the most disappointing thing was Paddy Bamford's dive oh, I thought him a man of real class an intelligent intellectual player I thought it'd be better than that but he's let me down there Paddy B it's a shame still love to see him in the Premier League though anyway right let's do this all out to Joe Bryan Fulham coming forward first oh Mendes can't quite win it back Lutman, oh, loses possession in the box. Bit sloppy here. Zakaria on the turn. Allowed to play back to Hazard. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Shit. Well, I mean, if they're going to score, let's get it done early. We knew a banana skin was going to happen here, but we've sort of created that banana skin ourselves. Oh, just pandemonium in the box. Didn't seem like anyone was facing the right way. Anyway, right. Doesn't matter. Nil-nil. It's nil-nil. Let's go again. Oh, great play there, Bernardo. Now Lukasen, oh, sprays a beautiful ball into Lutman. Lovely first touch away from Callum Chambers. Edge of the box here, Lutman spoons it well wide, unlucky. Probably had a couple more touches to take there. Romero tracking back, so he was nowhere to be seen. But Lukasen puts a lovely ball in. What a first touch that is, away from Callum Chambers. Probably could have got closer to the goal. Sort of a toe punt there, wide, unlucky. Danger here as Hazard plays it into Fonte. Oh, this is well worked. Thorgan Hazard, the danger man. Good ball in. Kobos comes across. Deals with it. And Bernardo, that's calm play from the centre-back. Now Lutman. Oh, what a ball to find Maxi Romero. And he's away from Callum Chambers. Chambers putting him under pressure here. But Romero goes for the chip. And that's well over. Two chances here for Leeds United as they look to play their way back into this. Romero, beautiful run there. Lutman found him well with the straight ball. He held off Cullum Chambers, and then, well, keeper was off his line. A little bit more finesse on that, and it could have troubled him, but as with the Lutman effort, well wide. Well, well over, anyway. Ball is put out wide to Maxi Romero. Chambers deals with it, but only as far as Mendes. Back to De Jong. They've got a lot of players, but they're well out of the way. Lutman, oh, what a ball into Romero, because he remained on side here. He has. Looks to square it for Brunetta. Unlucky. We're creating chances. We need to score one of them soon, though. Juan Brunetta now. He's been the real danger man in recent games and he's spotted Lutman in a load of space out on the right-hand side. He'll play it back to De Jong. Oh, lovely ball to Brunetta. He's fouled there surely, but De Jong will get it in the box. De Jong to finish. Yes. And he gets his second goal in a league shirt. And that was a silky bit of build-up there. Lovely interplay between Brunetta and De Jong. They are two great players to have in the midfield. 
Great ball there from De Jong to find him. Brunetta skips away from the rash challenge. And De Jong, well, he's finished it well. You wouldn't necessarily consider him as a great goal scorer, but he's got into the right position there. The momentum carried him away from the defender. And it's a very good finish on the right foot. And we draw things level again. The Brunetta crossfield ball, though. That's what started that, and that was pure beauty. Cabano just bounces off the challenge of Bernardo into Thorgan Hazard. Oh, Butland. And Lucasen can head away. That was a bit lucky there, but we haven't cleared. Kobos can't get to it. Wow, and they get the shot wide. Some slightly risky and dodgy looking defending at the moment. We need to cut that out very quickly. Lucasen, good defensive header. We'll find Brunetta here. Turns away from Mawson. Oh, and he can slip it into the path of Maxi Romero to make it too. Yes. <laughs> oh, they're having an absolutely lovely time at the moment. Argentina for life. And the number nine makes it. Well, he's got to be sneaking up on that golden boot again. He's coming into a rich vein of form here. Brunetta as well, as we said. Starting to look like the fulcrum of this side as he has done in the past. It's a great finish there. After another assist for Juan Brunetta, who's been totting them up in recent games. All right, let's keep going. Lutman, great defence there. That's a good ball into Brunetta. Oh, early ball over the top into Romero. Callum Chambers out of position. Oh, he's gone for the chip again. Cabano now into the box. Looks to cut it across. Gomez comfortably deals with it. That's a very poor clearance. Zakaria now into Fonte. Butland, great save. What the fuck are we doing in defence today? We're going to get caught out if we keep making mistakes like that. Well, there we are. 2-1 here. We went down early, but we bounced back eventually in that first half. We've had chances, but we've made so many defensive errors. We've got to be really careful. This certainly hasn't been a walkover as some recent games have been. This is, I think this is going to be a really tricky second half. The home side looked really up for this. I don't think, lads, it's Fulham is going to work here. We really need to concentrate. Oh, we've got problems here. Hazard is through. Lays it back to Fossi Mensa. Thankfully slips, not allowing him to make the uh, second run. Cliver, lovely turn away from Johansson. And now he'll speed through the centre here. Got De Jong with him. Decides against it. Oh, lovely turn away from Fossi Mensa. Back inside of Callum Chambers. Cliver just doesn't hit the shot properly. Great run there, though. And he gets going. He's very difficult to stop. Easy interception there for Kobos. It's a good ball into Juan Brunetta as well. Sees Cliver in a bit of space. He can slip it into Maxi Romero. Can he lay it back here for Juan Brunetta? Hits it first time on the right foot. It wasn't in the best position, but it sat up just invitingly enough for him to have a swipe at it. Couldn't get it on target, though. We do need a second. Oh, Lukasen, good first challenge, but they do get it back. This is dangerous here. Fossi Mensa looked for the ball inside. Hazard won't get to it ahead of Butland. Great goalkeeping again. Good ball into Mitrovic. The danger is Hazard, edge of the box. Gomez does really well. Had to there as well. And Lukasen. Oh, Lukasen caught in possession. Didn't expect that. Oh, Fulham really putting the pressure on here. This is getting shaky here. Kobos, great header. Butland get to it. Fuck's sake. Well, corner here. Really feels like we're hanging on by our fingernails. And they've gone short. Caught us off guard. Fossu Mensa. It's blocked by Brunetta. Fulham certainly piling the pressure on here. Got to be very, very wary. Johansson plays it back to Fossu Mensa. He can get a ball in. De Jong is taken out, and that should relieve some of the pressure here. It's Fulham just piling it on. We're very lucky to escape without conceding there. Let's try and calm things down a bit. Oh, good ball over the top into Sessegnon. Martinez coming on in defensive midfield. <laughs> commits the foul. I think we'll allow him that one. It's literally his first touch. This has put them in a dangerous position here. Thankfully, probably too far out to go for goal. Would be wary of this ball into the box, though. Kobos deals with it. Could there be a break on here? It's Joaquin Correa, the substitute, is found. Finds the other substitute. Callum Patterson into Cliver. What a ball. Now Cliver into Callum Patterson. Surely not. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Sorry, we've forgotten about that. He doesn't score goals, does he? Oh, real danger here. Mitrovic. Oh, my God. Oof. Butland deals, but Johansson now into the box. Mitrovic on the turn. Bernardo can't deal with it. Oh, and it's put wide by Thorgan Hazard. Fulham really have deserved a goal in this. If we can hang on here, it will be something quite special. There's three minutes left in this one. We just need to keep the ball. Wow. Fulham, my God. 
So just over 30 seconds left here. Bielsa is saying, take it to the top corner, Joaquin. You can do this, surely. Yes, well, this has been the most stressful holding on to a lead I think we've ever had. Fulham have been threatening to uh, finish us off. Or to get a second for pretty much most of the second half. They didn't manage it. Wow, six wins in a row. Incredible scenes here, Leeds United with, I mean, probably the best form in the league. You've got to expect that. Fulham certainly were a worthy opponent. Um, they pushed us all the way to the end and they had real chances. I think in the end we were fortunate to finish a goal ahead, really. We could have easily scored an equaliser, could have gone to score more. They look good today, but we get the all-important win and with Liverpool drawing, seven points now the gap. We're just slowly creeping up and five points now the gap away from ninth. Incredible, how long can this run go on for? That's the question. Surely not that much longer. But we'll take it for what it is. It's been a great, great run of form. And there we are, Brunetta, rewarded with an increase up to 79. It's been slow and steady despite the dramatic improvement. But he has been in great form recently, and that's what counts. Sometimes players like him and Kobos, there's another one, just play so far above their overall rating. It doesn't really matter how they progress until they start degressing, and then that's the problem. So, great episode. Two more wins. I'm, I can barely believe it. And who have we got here? Druisi, Bozok... Christensen from Chelsea, Bissouma, some good players to look at there in the next episode. And I'm pretty pleased. Who do we have in the next episode? Well, two winnable games again. Don't want to get too excited, but away at Burnley and then home to Leicester. Could be more wins. Oh, but Burnley is a derby game, so that could throw things off a bit. Maxi Romero, top of the goal rankings now with 17. Things are looking very, very bright in Yorkshire, which is rare. I'll see you in a bit.